Hello, this is another Emacs goodies video and today we're going to talk about auto insert mode. Now auto insert mode inserts text automatically when you create a fresh new file, which is not surprising given from the mode name. Now don't confuse this with your snippet or things like that. Your snippet you can call at any point in time. It doesn't need to be a new file. It can just it can just add whatever type of boilerplate or code snippet you want or whatever snippet of text you want. Auto insert is just specifically for when you create a file. So the most obvious use case for this is to just put headers or comments or things like that automatically that you normally do in every file. Like I know some people put the timestamp of when they created the file and things like that. So you can do that here with uh, auto insert mode. But enough talking, let me demo it. So uh, actually, let me show you the config and then I'll demo it. So let's go ahead and do this. And I believe I have it over here. Yes, so I have it configured here. And I say, hey, use this package. I want it to be initialized after the after Emacs load up. So this is a global minor mode. It's, it'll be on automatically. And I have some examples here. So the auto insert uh, mode already has some templates already. So for example, if I create a new elist file, I'll do that in a second. It'll have some boilerplate. But also I added some here just to showcase. So it can either be a string that you can do or it can do uh, another file that you just link to and say, hey, look at this file and in input whatever is in that file into the buffer. So I'll have those two to demo. There's also other options, like you can put a function here or you can put even more crazy stuff in here, like just one long vector of strings. But for now, I'm just gonna do this and I'm gonna leave that for homework for you guys. All right, so let me demo an empty elisp file. So control F, uh, Dell, uh, I guess I'll put YouTube. L. And at the bottom in the mini buffer, you can see perform Emacs list header auto insertion. So it's telling me, hey, do you want to insert the text? Yes or no? I'm going to say yes. And then say, hey, enter your short description, a demo for YouTube. For YouTube. All right, cool. It now it says, and you want to import any, any keywords. Um, I'm just going to do share, whatever, uh, see, whatever. Okay, that's enough. And then, ta-da, it just inserts all of this boilerplate for you, which is pretty nice. It already does all of these things, so you don't have to worry about that. It's pretty cool. But I'm not going to save it because I don't need this. This is just a demo. But let me go ahead and show you uh, an empty Python file. So python.py. Oh, it did not do anything. Interesting. Did I? Did it not run? Hmm. Uh, let me change this to nil and final dot pi. Ah, there we go. So I, I was missing something right there. Okay. So hello YouTube. So there you go. So you can add timestamp or whatever. You can add list of expressions in there. So yes. So whatever you want. And then finally, I'm going to demo JS mode. So JS mode, this text, it's saved within a directory that auto insert is in. So for example, I have it configured to auto insert here and JS text, here's the file. And this is what it should import or create once I create a new JS file. So let's go ahead and test it. Dell.js. So do you want to perform auto insertion? Yes. Boom. There you go. The comment is right here. So you, those are two ways or some ways that you can do it. But enough of that, let me go auto insert mode. Boom. Uh, let's see. Let's jump. So like I said, it is a global minor mode. So you can see it has a global true right there. Insert. Now def custom. So here's what you can control. You can either say, hey, um, should this just be for newly for new for new files or whatnot. So you can customize that. You can change the function, the type that it does when it asks the user. It's like, hey, you can even say, it's like, hey, you know what? Don't even bother asking if you want. Just do it. Uh, let's see. So let's see the prompt, changing the prompts, not so helpful. This is the A list. So like I said, the type of list that already has a bunch of things defined on code snippets for, uh, well, for the templates. So you can get an idea. You can mix it, like I said, list of expressions in here to make it work. It was pretty cool. So you can read the doc string, which is all the way over here. So you can go ahead and read that one on your free time. Just uh, just passing through right now. So here's a directory. And I have something that automatically s set the directory already. 
I forget what the package is called, but it's in Melpa. It automatically handles things like this. That way, your .emacs directory is clean and not filthy, um, filthy in the sense that there's a bunch of random files scattered all throughout, and it looks ugly and just not as great. But anyways, I'm getting off track. But yeah, that is pretty much a quick overview of auto insert. Let me know if you're going to use this. I might use this for some Python stuff and JavaScript, but other than that, that is it for me. Take care.